The FI fiber scopes are your fiber optic basic endoscopes that are used for any types of industrial inspections. You can use them for automotive inspections, airplane or turbine inspections, and anything from home maintenance to uh, machinery or quality control. These units are typically um, made with either two-way or four-way tip articulation. And in addition to that, we supply all of them with a basic LED light handle and also a fiber optic light cable in case you want to upgrade to a metal halide light source or something brighter in the future. Metadinx FI fiber scopes are the highest fiber scopes that we offer. Um, these units are available with either a 4, 6 or 8 millimeter diameter and the standard unit has two-way tip articulation and 12,000 pixels of image resolution. There is also an optional four-way tip articulation in the six or eight millimeter diameters and also a higher resolution 20,000 pixel image bundle. These units typically ship out with the fiber scope itself, an LED light handle, and a fiber optic light cable in case in the future you want to upgrade the light source to a metal halide light source. We're going to show you how to set up your fiber scopes. Typically when you receive the package, you're going to have your regular fiber scope, the LED light handle, and also the light cable. These units will simply just screw into each other. So you would just connect your light source here and then just click the button to turn on the illumination. You will notice that the fiber scopes have either two or sometimes three little LED lights. These lights actually are fiber optic cables that run the entire length and come from the light handle directly out of the tip. All of the fiber scopes will have basic two-way tip articulation. So you can articulate your tip two ways, 90 degrees usually. And then there is also a focus on the eyepiece of the scope. So if you're noticing that the image isn't quite clear, you can adjust your focus. Your tip articulation is on the right hand side. On the left hand side, there is a free and locked mode. So if you want to articulate your tip and then lock it, you can do so. Just make sure that you unlock it before you remove it. Otherwise, when you bend it back, you will notice that you may break the tip or the articulation. In addition to this, we do have the light cables. Same idea here, your light cable will just screw into the base. The other end of the light cable will attach into a light source. For instance, the metal halide light sources are a really nice small option. Simply press it in and turn it on and you'll have your illumination. These units do have a dimmer as well, so you can change the shutter if you're getting too much feedback or if you're getting a bit of a reflection that's whiting out the image. In the four-way models of the fiber scopes, you will notice a bit of a difference. These units obviously have a more robust articulation. This is because you can articulate the tip in two dimensions and then also in the other two dimensions or a combination of those three or four so that you can move around in a 360-degree circle. Again, you've got your free and your locked positions. You've got one for one way and one for the other way, so you can always change those, and your focus is still on the eyepiece if you need to adjust your image. Just so that you know, for these units, they do feature uh, fiber optic cables that are composing the image bundle running all the way through. If you damage any part of the tip or the insertion tube, you may notice that the image inside will be impacted. This is because these are glass lenses and you don't want to break them. It's not just one section, it's the entire insertion tube that is glass. If you're trying to do video and or image capture, you're usually going to be using one of these video camera units. These units are standard for all of the fiber scopes. You will notice that the eyepiece is all standard depending on which unit you're using. So to connect, simply press these two buttons together, lock it on like that, and you're good to go. This unit will have your power cable on the bottom and your video cable going to a TV monitor on the top, or you can also import it to a USB capture box if you want to do image and video capture.